In this video, I'm gonna show y'all how you can make the cutest farmhouse lantern using some plastic fencing and the six by six line from the Dollar Tree. I went ahead and picked up two pieces of the plastic fencing so I could have the ends that hook together. I'm gonna to take my heavy duty scissors, they're titanium, and I'm gonna cut the ends off of both pieces of the plastic fencing. I made sure to chop off those bottom pieces too, and I'm gonna save those middle pieces for another project. I went ahead and painted all of my pieces. I'm using chalk paint, but you can go ahead and spray paint these if you wanted to. It's a little bit cold outside, so I wanted to stay inside, so that's why I opted to use chalk paint. And now I'm gonna let all of those pieces dry and then attach the two pieces that hook together. Now I'm gonna take some hot glue and put that on two of the sides of the sign and then attach that just like this. Now I'm gonna take my pin nailer and shoot some pin nails in there for a more permanent attachment. And now I'm gonna repeat the process for the other side. I'm gonna attach the plastic fencing with hot glue and some pin nails. Once you get that all attached, you're gonna notice that two of the sides are gonna need hot glued together. So that's why I chose to cut off the ends of the plastic fencing because at least two corners now have that really cute attachment that kind of looks like metal. At this point, I did decide to add a little bit more distress stain. I probably should have done this before I put it together, but it was a last minute decision. At this point, your Dollar Tree Lantern is finished, but you may notice a gap at the bottom, and I just covered that up using some lamb's ear greenery. The kind that I'm using isn't from the Dollar Tree, but you can find some greenery there. I decided to add some little feet. This is also optional, but here's what my lantern looks like when it's all finished, and I hope you all give this DIY project a try.